NAPLAN data is very important to our school because we use it as a way to get to know our students. Uh, we use it as a tool for all teachers to have a really good understanding of the class that they have in front of them before they actually get to meet them and then they can use that uh, data that's so valuable to differentiate for all of the students that they have in their class. The reason NAPLAN data is useful to our school is the feedback it provides to us on our teaching program, on our student achievements and how we've structured our school. We look at it as a temperature check. It's an external temperature check of I am our own processes and our own teaching programs. So when our data comes in, there's no surprises in it because we're a data rich school, but it does corroborate what we're already doing at school. Well, NAPLAN data is very important because it provides us with a lot of information that can help us on three levels. We can look at it in a school level, we look at it a year level, and then we look at it on a student level. So it provides us with information that shows our strengths and our areas that we need to do more work on. And that way, by being able to identify those areas, we can work out where we need to put our resources and our time and effort. And it also provides us with a way of being able to measure from year to year and from every two years when we track those students going through from years three through to year five and from five to seven, how those students are going. NAPLAN data provides our school with the insight as to where our students are coming from in terms of what literacy and numeracy skills they have and where we need to extend them to. It allows us to find out where our school is situated um, within the nation and having a very strong community support group who's quite interested in our achievements and progression uh, the smart data allows us to identify exactly where we are heading towards and where we have been. NAPLAN data allows us to get to know our students on a number of levels. Um, it allows us to identify their strengths and weaknesses, both as individuals but as a cohort. And as a result, we can tailor programs to suit either the large group collectively or the individual if need be. NAPLAN data is important to our school because it's information that we couldn't uh, possibly afford any other way and it provides information to us um, about individual students and about the cohort and we use it in a, in a lot of different ways. NAPLAN data is important to our school as one tool amongst many that we use uh, to show and demonstrate the achievement of the children at our school. It verifies what we're doing well with our teaching and learning in the school, our strengths and also then areas we need to evaluate and develop as teachers to ensure the best at, out of our children's learning. NAPLAN's been very important to our school with regards to understanding student groupings. Many of those groupings have very specific needs. For example, groupings with our Aboriginal students allows us to understand where they are and what specific needs through item analysis that we require to build into their personal learning plans. So we, have, we, have, we run a range of different learning support uh, programs in our school as well as programs for children who require extension because they are high achieving. Those specific bits of information we can use for, for those students allows us with the learning support programs is to identify very specifically their needs, those kinds of things that we, we need to improve with them and allows us to focus and have a, a very structured and explicit teaching for those students. Once again, it allows us to then track those students to see whether those improvements have been made. More importantly, I feel, is also those students who work within the mainstream context are then being given specific programs to work within the class by us supporting the teacher. The teacher understands what is explicitly needed to be taught to those children and what kind of strategies they should be using.